Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh It's Wafa Abdullah So um, I apologize for not For not making videos uh, As soon as possible But yeah I'm here now And yeah The book I've chosen to read to you today is Whatever you think Think the opposite So, uh, so Paul Arden Arden is the author of the international bestseller it's not it's not how good you want to be but how you want to be is a former is a former executive is a former executive cre creative director at Saatchi and Saatchi and a legend of British advertising he now owns a photographic gallery so there's a quote by US Today a wonderfully designed manifesto of non-nonsense career advice can be applied to almost every field Ard Arden, Arden's book may not cure your sanity but it will help you look at the world and your work in a fresh way so this is the second book the, the first book actually that made the national bestseller um, I'm gonna read this the next in the next video okay right so first page this book explains the benefits of making bad decisions it shows how risk is your security in life and why unreason is better than the reason it's about having confidence to roll the dice it's the wrong way to win it's the wrong way to think but the right way to win well we because that's what we want right we want to win let us start off on the right foot by making some wrong decisions a flop until the, until the Mexico Olympics of 1968, the customary way for a high jumper to cross the bar with his body parallel to it in a technique known as the Western Roll. But that was about to change. A little known athlete approached the bar which was set at a world record of 7 feet 4 and a half inch, four and a quarter inches. He, he took off, but instead of turning his body towards the bar, he turned his back in, onto it. He brought his leg up and flipped over the bar backwards. Like this one. His name was Dick Fosbury, and his method of jumping became known as the Fosbury Flop. It is still used today. He jumped higher than any other man by thinking opposite from anyone else. This is example. This example is just a th technique for thinking, but here the technique for thinking became a th th technique for, for jumping, turning a flop into a success. Okay. Photographing flowers. Firstly, we will pick a perfect specimen, and we will arrange it carefully. Light it beautifully and spray some dew. It will probably be beautiful, but only up to a point. Because we have seen thousands of beautiful flowers before. So how are we going to make our, our picture memorable? In 1930s, Andre Kerstes took a picture of, wilted, of a wilted tulip, tulip. Once you have seen it, it's impossible to forget. In a publicity shot for himself, photographer Adrian Flowers did it by showing a vase, not the flowers. Irving Penn did it like this. Instead of shooting a perfect fresh flower, he photographs a dead flower perfectly. Eight years ago, a scientist ph photographer, photographer Carl Borstein, took astounding pictures which were often unrecognizable. The one shown here more, looks more like a skyscraper than a plant. They are all the wrong way to answer the brief, but they are all beautiful solutions to the problem. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Fashion. Oh my goodness. Maybe the right exposure. There is a story of a professor who was ba ba bathing in the river Sherwell in Oxford at a place called Parsons Pleasure, in which it was custom was custom to swim naked. As the professor got out of the pool, a bunch of un undergraduates glided by, whereupon he grabbed his towel and wrapped it around his head. <laughs> oh my goodness. PG thirteen. Trapped. It's not because you are making the wrong decisions, it's because you are making the right ones. We try to make sensible decisions based on the facts in front of us. The problem with making sensible decisions is that so is everyone else. It's like right now. So it's looking to me, to me right now. Everyone wants a job and everyone's working. So the problem with our economy is the so, I wish. I wish means I wouldn't be. Wouldn't it be nice if 
you always make the right decision, the safe decision, the one most popular, most most people make, will make you will be the same as everyone else. Always wishing life was different. I want, I want means I want enough, I want it enough, I will get it. Getting what you want means making decisions you want me to, me to, me to, me to, to get what you want, not decisions those around you think you should make. Making a safe decision is dull, predictable, and leads nowhere near. And safe decision causes you to think and respond in a way you hadn't think of. And, and that thought will lead to other thoughts which will help you achieve what you want. So think, start thinking bad decisions, it will take you to, to a place others on a dream of being. Decisions, 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 decisions,